to Bunny. I got some goodies for you. Are you coming? Coming. Gooby. There you go. You've been a really active bunny this morning. Wow. Good morning, guys. It is Tuesday morning. I am finally getting over my cold. I had my first work day yesterday and I'm feeling so much better. It is a frosty morning. It's really, really cold. I thought that I could just take some pictures of the silk silk dress on my way to work because this is my new design that's gonna launch when this video goes up and I can't wait to just show the world I want to get some nice pictures but it's also really cold for someone who have just had a cold but first thing we're gonna do is that we're gonna pick up a package in Silvan something really exciting because this week is gonna be opening week in the boutique I'm finally gonna reopen and we have so much preparation to do that I thought I would vlog as much as possible this week so let's just get started there are so many things to get done and I can't wait so I also have a plan here in the car that I'm gonna tell you about when we get to the boutique but it's a beautiful Monsera plant um, that I found somewhere weird. I kind of feel like I've stolen it. I haven't. But let's turn on some heat and get going. <laughs> I think it's about zero degrees outside. <sighs> oh, it's cold. Um, but I did take some beautiful pictures of the new dress. This is the new dress design. I decided to borrow this one. But I'm only going to borrow it because it's a size large. But I think I took some really cute pictures on the way here. So I'm actually going to get changed into something that's going to be a lot warmer. I'm still a little bit snotty, a little bit cold. So it was probably a ridiculous decision to stand outside in the cold this morning taking pictures in a silk dress. Um, I did have some stairs. But I'm just so used to that by now. But I'm gonna get changed into something warmer. And my sister made me a vest while I was sick. She made this one. I am now ready. I'm wearing my brown hat. I haven't worn that for a long time, but I love it. I'm wearing the vest on top of the Madeleine dress from the boutique. I love this one so much. I'm wearing black tights underneath, the white boots, and then I'm wearing a black blouse just to add an extra layer um so i think we should turn on some lights and i need to eat some breakfast as well before i get started with anything i want to show you what we need to get done before we reopen first of all we obviously have to organize everything and tidy i need to figure out what i want to have on the rail that's going to go out on the street when i reopen these are all sale pieces pretty much pieces from last summer that's not my brand and therefore I'm trying to now sell out so that in the future everything is going to be my own brand. I have boxes in the corner that are vintage pieces. I have new blankets here as you can see that I need to shoot today. I have some more here in different colors that I need to shoot. I also want to figure out how I want everything to be placed. I don't know if I want all blue silk here. I don't know if I want this silk to stay here. I need to make a display here with some spring items. I'm thinking some berets, maybe a Clara blouse. We need to take down the fairy lights in the fitting room because I want to be able to actually open it up so that more light is going to come in. I've also bought a new lamp for the corner in here because it's a very dark fitting room and I want some more light in there. So that's also going to come in a few days and my neighbor is going to help me put it up. We are going to put this back together, organize it, figure out what we need to display here. Then to this side of the boutique I have to actually organize the jewelry display as you can see here there are a lot of empty bits and things aren't really looking that good anymore because the boutique hasn't been open for a long time and also i need to figure out what i want to display on this rail the gold rail that's actually like new in 
Um, so there's a lot of things to get done. I need to figure out what I want to display in the window over here. Right now I have the winter designs, um, but they launched in December and I wanna I wanna start to get spring into the boutique. So yeah. <laughs> so yeah, all in all, there is a lot of work to get done before I can um, open up in a few days. The first thing I want to do today is to replant this monstera plant that I actually found right next to the trash right next to the trash cans um, outside of my apartment. Someone had just left this monstera there in this lovely brown pot but they have just kept it in a plastic bag in the pot and also this pot is actually too small for it there is no space for it to grow and that's also why it keeps getting longer but it's gonna fall because it needs a bigger pot so we're gonna replant that and then i think it's gonna live here in the boutique <laughs> We have now completely emptied the windows for every single decoration and we're now going to clean them a bit and then we're going to get started actually drawing on the windows. I'm going to show you the markers. These are the markers that we're going to use. I think we are going to use the orange one and see what it looks like. We were also thinking maybe to do something in gold. But I just think with the new designs that are kind of going to come out this summer, I think orange is going to be really cool and really retro. So we're going to draw, or Sophie is going to draw some flowers on the window in orange. So that's going to be interesting. Yeah. Something sad is going to happen now. It's time to say goodbye to the fairy lights around the fitting room, which has been a feature. We think it's been an amazing feature. We don't really know about customers because we haven't really had many <laughs> over the winter. But it's going to go down now, which is a sad moment. But I need some more light in this area, as I said this morning. And also I have ordered a new lamp. So hopefully this corner will soon be a lot lighter. But it's time to do it. We'll open up this thing again. I just need to figure out how I'm going to do this. This feels so much like bigger, the entire room down here. It looks so much brighter in the fitting room. It's so much better. I actually haven't used the fitting room whenever I try it on a dress or something. I haven't even used the fitting room over the winter and that's, that's a bad sign. So this is so much better. I for a lot of time, but it's not we're having a look at all of our test flowers. We've actually been to the city to get some new markers because the first ones, you can barely see them. Wow. I actually can't film them. But there are some flowers here, you can see there. Yeah. Ish. Then we tried with this one that should be golden, but it's actually yellow. And now I think we're gonna go with the white ones. This is just sketches, they don't look very nice, but with this orange but it's just too near yeah we're gonna go white yeah. sophie is now in full swing decorating the windows and i can't wait to see what it's gonna look like with flowers like growing up it's gonna look brilliant i am ready to shoot the new scarves i'm currently wearing the red one super gorgeous wearing it over my shoulder like that i decided to style it with a vintage outfit underneath it's just something basic something that's not going to catch or take the attention away from the scarf so a black blouse with this gray dress as well so that is look number one for shooting scarves and i've set up the lights and everything <laughs>
a quarter past three. Sophie left. I'm still in the clothes that I used to shoot some scarves. Um, I want to show you what we've managed to do today because I actually think we've been pretty good. We got started on the windows. I got started with the batik to move out stuff and to make a plan with what I'm going to do in my head, which is also a process. So I think we've done pretty well. And I just, I really like being here, preparing. This is what we managed to do on the windows today. So we still have a lot of drawing to do. It looks cute. It's a little bit hot to see now when the sun is um, looking through the windows, but it's actually really cute. I've also moved out the boxes I had in the corner to put back my beautiful big Monstera plant. I still don't quite know what I'm gonna do with the rails. Sophie really likes that it's blue over here and red in the other side of the boutique, so I might keep it. Um, but I still don't know. It also made a huge difference to open up to the fitting room. I like that. The lamp, the new lamp for the fitting room is going to come within the next couple of days. Also going to be a nice change. And then over here, I did a change. I don't know if you can see it, but the clothing rail in the corner used to be here. But it was just so dark here because it's a contrast to the door and to the window. So instead... By moving it over here in the corner you actually get the light from the window and it's just so much better i think i might keep it there even though it's now um right next to another rail but it just gets so much more light i think i might leave it there and then i still don't know what i'm going to do with the window display and we also need to decorate this window and i need to clean both windows from the outside so that is basically all that we did today when it comes to the store guess what we're at our favorite place the trash station there we go then oh i don't need that then we have one bag with plastic oh can you I don't know if you're gonna fall I'm gonna go very still but I also have a package in Ikea that I need to go and um, pick up so I think I can park here there's a lot of people here right now Okay, I had no idea it was going to be a drive-in pick-up IKEA solution, but I'm waiting in line in cars just to get our orders. That is so weird. So while I'm waiting in line, I should try to figure out what I want to eat for dinner. I'm pretty hungry by now. I did some social media work when I got home, so it's a quarter past six and yeah i just want something easy yeah easy pretty decently healthy i mean i just ate four crackers with nutella so <laughs> i need something with some veggies okay i've been told to park and then somebody's gonna come with my order i've parked in front of number five and then um i'm just gonna wait I cannot see my lamp anywhere. I'm still waiting. I've waited for a few minutes. Maybe it's that one, like the guy walking there. I don't know. We'll see. It's definitely not that one. <laughs> Made your order, not mine. So that was all I managed to film on the first reopening workday. Uh, I can't wait for Friday and I'm going to continue vlogging the progress today i also can't wait because when you're watching this i have new silk designs that are gonna launch i also have the new scarves that are gonna drop on the workshop 
uh, some new royalty kimonos and I'm just so excited to see if you guys like the new items. I think they are amazing so jump over and have a look. I would love that and I will continue vlogging this week up until I reopen the boutique so I'm gonna see you all very soon with a new vlog and thank you so much for watching. Bye guys!